how we doing? Thursday night. Um, we're doing good. We're doing yeah, good. Yeah. Always doing good. Oh, I'm excited, guys. We have talked about this one for a couple of weeks. I know. Uh, you know what I'm excited about? about our live show. We've had one other red wine cask aging scotch, right. and we loved that scotch. Yeah. We still talk about the Tullibardine 228. Well, exactly. It happens to be sitting in my bar right now. And, oh, and did, did you pick up a bottle? You son of a gun. I know you didn't tell us about that. I feel like this guy should be here with us. So. <laughs> so here's the thing. I, Ron I, I personally think that the red wine castings pull out a ton of flavor yeah, in yeah. the scotch. Yeah, um, it gives it a little bit of a unique red cast yeah. color to it. Um, but you get different flavor profiles from those wines. Can I start so part? yeah, sure. <laughs> so we've got the Springbank 12-year-old Burgundy cast finished. Scotch and you can't that. find this right now, right? right? No, it's, uh, it's tough. So Springbank apparently does a lot of uh, like unique wood caskings. Um, so it's a limited run. If you can find it, awesome. We didn't realize that we kind of snuck in and got a deal. Um, I we were uh, we were just looking around to see what the what the price was online for for, for some other places. Just because we usually compare and see, you know, if we're getting a deal or not. We got a deal. Well, we, we did all right. I, I I was the guy that went up to Vine Table that day to, to buy some bottles, and I, I took the, the stash yeah. we had. I went up there. Oh, I'm, I'm texting like these Andrew guys. Bruce. I'm calling them, and I'm like, all right, you know, we got this much left to get. What are you guys interested in? And Sean said something about. Oh, I remember you that. Know, yeah. Get something with a, a wine finish. I, I, what did you say? Maybe it was a cap or something. And yeah. I'm like, oh. how about the Springbank Burgundy? And I knew as soon as I hit send that it was going to be a hell yes, pick it up right now. <laughs> I knew. And it was. It was capital letters. It was all caps. Yes. So so here's the thing. Spring Bank. Uh, Campbelltown Scotch. It's been around since 1828. It's a, it's a long lived distillery. <laughs> right. um, and they still do stuff old school. So you've got, you know, traditional floor maltings. They've got a cast iron uh, tub that they do their, uh, basically, their brewing in, right? Yeah. They, they pay a guy to kind of stir it so it doesn't <laughs> burn stuff on the bottom because it's cast iron. Because I mean, it's cast iron. Right, they say A to Z, though. They, uh, they yeah, I mean, they, they, they do it all. Uh, so they, they do it up. So Springbank, we've done one. Oh, Ron Phil. Ten. We did. We did the, yeah, we did the ten. Yeah. Um, so Springbank we're excited ten. to try this one. Um, you know, I mean, Campbelltown, they usually have a little bit of unique flavor profile. Mm -hmm. They do things just a little bit differently, and I think their new make kind of shows that. So I'm anxious to try this yeah. scotch and see how it turns out. Yeah. And so so we, we think we're around, what, 120? One, so around there's a we got it for you, just to put a number down there. But if you if you can find it, you probably need to grab it. So. Yeah, so oh, this is yeah, the, this Holy is poor. Yeah. I love you. I know, that's why I said I like when they Report. Well, we gotta have enough to taste. Oh so, my god! <laughs> so the beauty of this is you gotta have enough to taste. The, 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 on the bottle, they've they've got some interesting statistics here. So this is distilled in November of thir of '03, bottled on May of 2016, and the outturn was 10,260 bottles. So it's 15, uh, 12 and a half. Is yeah. What it ends up being. Yeah. And and 10,000 bottles total. That's the entire run. There you go. So no, not, a whole lot. not a whole lot. percent. Is that what you've got? No. Yeah, it's, 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 it's 50. Oh, it is 53.5 percent. Right. Yeah, oh, it's so. 53.5. First fill burgundy barrels. Man, Man, that is a unique. I'll tell you what. I get some leather. Yes. That yes. Smells like That's a leather exactly belt. That is. <laughs> a leather belt. A, a leather, and there's some deep red oh, fruits buried yes. down in this the bottom. Be really nice. So what this is uh, that fruit. It's like I'm a, assuming this is pomegranate, natural maybe? color, no chill filter. That's not uh, a bad no, call. That's not, I've been drinking pomegranate yes, juice every morning. Non chill filter. Um, so we could get, expect some haze. It does not talk about. I gotta give this some time. Around, um, but I know it's only 12 it's, year, but it's it's been. You don't want to let it that, for a second. At that so high I'm, alcohol content, I think I'm gonna let it. My sit curiosity for just a is is. Did it sit 12 years in, in burgundy in burgundy cask all together? First and fill bourbon cask. So its whole 12 years was in first fill. Bourbon now I will bourbon say bourbon. that I remember the Springbank being kind of a, I don't want to say rich, but like full bodied, like oily, sea spray, yeah, salt kind of scotch. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how that pairs with that. It doesn't. That it's starting to get oil. the smell. It's starting to get that, that brine coming through. Yeah, the leather's kind of yep. started to go away, away, and I'm starting to get like a briny quality to it. Yeah, it is going away. It's mm -hmm. still there, though. It is hot. Boys, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
but it's well, interesting. But you know what? That's a nice hot though. It's <laughs> you not made like me laugh. Oh, oh my gosh! I get that. Le you got the level oh, of rich finish. fruit rolling over. Man, that's unique. You Halfway guys. Halfway down, he says it. I almost that up. wood. Don't throw uh, it. No, I mean, oh, <laughs> oh what is that? that you got a spew. Nice. <laughs> got me rich. on guard. What? <laughs> I just. <laughs> you're, what's coming in? Uh, I'm no, afraid no, to have. Man, I'll tell you what. It's got that like. It's a cherry thing. strawberry thing going on on the finish, like it's really yeah. That flavor is really that's it. You know stuff. what though? It's it, it is cherry. the only it, thing so far. Uh, I don't like it. It's a really short finish. <laughs> I don't know. Mine kind of went away, but it's still kind of it, it's real subtle now. I don't I'm know. Getting some wood and some. You're getting wood. <laughs> just a tip. <laughs> just Bang, just get tip. Some wood. I was waiting to say that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me. Oh, Whatever. that's crazy. Um, I, that's totally cheap. I, but it's it's really interesting. It's it, I would say it's complex already, just from, <laughs> without even having water to it, it's already got some characteristics that I, you, you want to go back and kind of get in there some more. Well, yeah, you need to, you need to take a second sip, because the heat I'll is tell you what, really bad after the first sip. It's such a unique... Just the whole thing is I just know. really. I need my flavor oil because I don't know what I'm. I'll tell you what. Right so it for me it starts out with like a briny, leathery quality to it, and then yes. that fades into a little bit stronger of a brine, and then that fades, and I get I start to get the sweet coming out after that, and I get the red fruits and the cherries <laughs> and the strawberries coming through. <laughs> I mean, it just keeps kind of rolling through. It's kind of that woody, it really develops for a while. Really it has yeah. like a Cabernet aftertaste to me a little. Yeah, bit. that's the stuff that that Burgundy wine is on the finish, like way on the back of the finish. It's like you get. It's like it's kind of weird. It's like you get you're drinking scotch and a little bit of fruits, and whatever, and then about a second or two later, it's like you just had less of wine. It's like the mm. finish is just wine. It's, it's really. I say what. Um, uh, that, that toasted bread. When you I look mean, at that color it. for a natural color. I mean, you know it. It pulled a lot out of those cats. Yeah, yeah, it did. <clears throat> wow, <laughs> it's kind of it's really dry. My mouth is well, really 12 dry. Years? Twelve years. Twelve years. I'll tell you um, what. This has got a lot of good stuff going on. I got some water in the glass. I'm extremely yeah. happy. With I'm, afra I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I you kind of want to set this. I, You're up. up. It's going to be a thirty minute water on here. I mean, get soon. Oh, shit. It's gonna be a 30 minute review if we let this kind of finish and do what it right. needs to do. You know, we could always let Drew use the magic of editing to uh, fast forward us 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Telex on you know, the live show. It's like, I watch you guys at 1.5 speed. Ah, that's hilarious. That's, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I I might okay, so the water is toned down the nose quite a bit. Put a couple more drops on there. I'm not, the leather is not. See, the leather for not me really was just there. in the initial, and then it faded. I never really I never tasted had the leather. I no, just I never tasted it. it. I don't think I did, at least. See, the, the water turned it a little more sulfury to me. Mm -hmm. Well, it's amazing what, what when you drop that water in there, you can see the water doing its thing in the oh, yeah. glass. How it changes okay. the viscosity of the liquid. It's really still good, but it's a li little bit of a letdown so far. Oh no! See, I'm getting more of the more of the um, almost, it almost tastes smells like sherry on the nose. Yeah, I think it's got to sit for a little bit and yeah. let that, yeah. let that water come back. work in because the, initially you put the water on and got more sulfur. Now that I've swirled around, so we're probably going to get some cloud. We need to get some cloud. I'm, I'm getting that yeah. sherryness. Which is, is weird because there's not sure can. It's <laughs> right, like but uh, that's that. what I mean. That it, it's a red fruit. Um, yeah. Honestly, I almost had like a, a salty strawberry aftertaste. Yeah. Uh -huh. Salty strawberry. That's I had a real that. salty yeah, aftertaste. The strawberry nose is really coming out. The strawberry. I don't know. It's kind of weird to have a strawberry flavor in your in your scotch, but it's it's definitely yeah, kind of you the can you the taste the redness. But you know what? It doesn't fruit. compete. It's like on the back, and then no, it's, it doesn't overpower. You know what I mean? but, it's not weird like salmon cheesecake or something. <laughs> salmon cheesecake. What, what you never had salmon cheesecake? No. So salmon lemon. cheesecake. What the? Somebody comment on so, that. Man. So, I, so I feel like savory crazy. cheesecake. You never had? <laughs> no. Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. You have it at the, at the shop? No, but I've made one. Salmon. Made one. Don't make that salmon stuff. and capers. Don't make that. I don't know. Don't do that, that, Sean. That does sound Why? good. Tell Sean not to do that. Don't ruin cheesecake with salmon. No. I know. 
With the capers? Oh, I Andrew's can see that. On my, yeah, 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 my kids love capers. Can you believe that? Whatever. We're, We're going to get comments on that. That's a live show. That's a live show <laughs> okay. discussion. Yeah. By the way, every Thursday, you join us. It's crazy. <laughs> Same with cheesecake. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so, guys. How are we doing? Have you, you tasted it? Yet? Yeah, I've tasted it. I guess I'll start off because I don't know where to go with this um, number wise. So I, I'm going to oh, talk wow. through it. As far as hey, are you going to talk your way through it? Yeah, I, I try to every time. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> well, We're all busting me. on each other today. Well, excuse What's me, on, dummy. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> um, Drew. Wow. All I can say is wow. So you look at the <laughs> bottle and you you got to be intrigued. Natural color. And you're like, well, 12 years. What would, you know, what's going on in it? The nose was pleasant. I love that leathery smell. It was a tiny bit on the sulfur side. It got worse with the nut with water for me. So I didn't like that as much. But um, the flavor, first of all, you guys can probably see that my I'm first sure. drink, Andrew caught me off guard as I was swallowing. He said, oh, it's hot. And I almost choked on it. I'm like, hell oh, yeah, it's hot. I shouldn't have poured so um, much because it's 40 to 53% but, alcohol. Yeah. It is hot, but the second second drink after your mouth's acclimated to that, it, there's a lot going on. Oh, okay, man. There's just all kinds of flavor going on. And um, the aftertaste, the salty aftertaste is really reminiscent of what I expected to get out of Springbank in Campbelltown. But, man, I love It's tough for me to say. I, I'm going to say a three because it's hard for me to go a three, five with this. But there's a lot going on, you guys. If you like that red berry flavor, the sherry, burgundy, whatever, you're going to love this glass. Um, get past the 53.5%. I expect that, but as far as I'm concerned for a 12 year, you're getting a, 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 burg, a, you know, a value for that. Right. Now we did pay a salty price for this, yeah, it is, but, it is but it's kind of one of those exclusive mul uh, multi. Yeah, I mean yeah. 10,000 yeah. bottles. You might not find it, but I can tell you if you can, <clears throat> I pick it up. I, I'm glad we got it because it's, um, I don't think we're going to get another one guys. So, we'll yeah, enjoy this. Right. so I'm going to say three and pass the buck. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've added a fair amount of water to it. You know, 50% probably not, but probably 20 to 30% water in here. And I'll tell you, this is um, really nice in the, so when we first tried it neat, it was it was not like anything, any other scotch I've had. It wasn't, definitely not smoky, it's not peaty, it's none of, the, none of my wheelhouse uh, flavors, but the richness and depth and the kind of earthiness, I guess, is for maybe a lack of a better word, in this, I really enjoy. Um, I'm not a super sweet kind of guy. These, the earthy, the smoky, the peaties are, are what I like, and this has that. But then when you add water, and you continue to add water to it, it lightens it up, it brightens it up. I don't know, I'm not seeing any cloudiness because the with the non-chill filter, does you drop the alcohol content? But you do get, the sweetness does pull off. Yeah, that's good. And... That finish is just kind of dry and <clears throat> lingering and really nice. I'm going to give this a, a solid three. Uh, I agree. Potentially a little bit higher, but it is I expensive. I mean, it is $110, $120 a bottle. It's a, so that makes it, in my view, it makes it one of those specialty scotches. It, it's a special occasion, maybe, you know, Christmas, birthday at best kind of thing. It's and um, And only share it with those that would appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately, don't, right. you don't, don't want to share this with uh, Uncle Bob, who's drinking you know, Bud Light on back, and say, hey, everyone try some whiskey? You don't do that. Um, Let's shoot some whiskey, boys. Yeah, no, you don't shoot this stuff. So definitely got to appreciate it. Give it a three, good quality. Buy it if you can. If you've got the money, buy it because it's not like anything you've ever had. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Maybe yeah. that's it's where it's good. a three, five is really on the edge. I'm going to go three, though. You sure? No, I'm not sure. You got going. two more people. <laughs> so what you got, so Drew? Drew are you a two, Scotch, are you, Scotch, Scotch, Scotch. Are you a two five? Here? Is it a true Scotch, Scotch? Ron Burgundy would appreciate this guy. Uh, let me start by saying this: um, there's not a whole lot more I can add. And you guys said a lot of it. I mean, honestly, it's one of those Scotch. It's really it, it's unique, and that's why I think it's worth the value and the price. It's very good. It's very tasty. But it's not something you're going to go buy normally. You're going to look for this type of scotch because you've got your rum cash, you've got your Solaris, you've got your uh, your peated, you got your other kind of region stuff. But there's not too many like burgundies and things that they're kind of unique. It's so it's, it's unique <laughs> enough. So it's not like if you like scotch, you're going to love this. It's it's different, mm. and I like that. And it's complex enough where you're going to want to sit there and you're going to have Absolutely. different flavors. It's going to evolve a little bit. Um, 
I'm with you guys. I, I kind of enjoyed that whole little leather burgundy thing up front. <laughs> it went away. It blended with the water. My first thing uh, taste with water on it, I thought, well, maybe it's a little not as good. But it, it, after it sat a little bit, it really blended and rounded yeah. off. I really enjoy it. And I'm still enjoying it while I'm sitting here and you guys have been talking. So uh, I'm with you guys. I think it's, um, it's a little salty, but because it's unique and kind of that exclusive realm, I think it's worth the price to go buy it. I think you're not going to be disappointed. No. I think it's going to say well easy a two three. I told three. you. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna go with three. Cool. No so surprise. I, I've been kind of waffling back and forth. I will say this: I am extremely happy with this purchase. Um, it did not disappoint at all. <laughs> I am anxious so to try some <laughs> other caskings uh, in in red wine casks. We've oh, done yeah, uh, right. we've done it. the burgundy. We've done cab <laughs> barrel. Uh, they offer a uniqueness to the scotch. I don't think it's for every scotch. I think they have to be no. picky about which scotch they try to do this with. Sure. But to me, the Springbank is hardy enough that it held up to the burgundy cask completely and they they don't really compete with each other they kind of married and are, are kind of no, happy there's no conflict separate, you know there's what no i mean conflict in there. Uh, I, I put water on it three separate times trying to draw out you know maybe if uh, you know i watered it down maybe there's an off flavor hidden somewhere in there nope. because it is hot it is you know you need, to, um, you need to water it but yeah. there really isn't i mean it, it pairs very well um I think as I've added more water, it's kind of lost a little bit of its unique flavor profile. I enjoyed it neat. I agree. Um, I, I would agree have had to sip it, it slow, is neat. but I enjoyed the neat. I don't know. It's it's I mean, it's, I'm getting it's, those deep ruby like fruits now with but the it, water. Oh, I know. Yeah. Same those here. Those that roots, that yeah. briny quality. As I've added more water, <laughs> I get a little more of that sweet maltiness coming forward, yes. and it's too. pairing up with the burgundy wine quite well. Um, I've been kind of waffling back and forth. I, I'm going to give it a three. Um, I, I think it's a really good, unique scotch. You, you may be. So what are you waffling on? Between a three and a three five. That's what I'm trying to. Okay, that's a tough I, it's call. it's a really. I was going to say I'm about a ball. three one five. Yeah. If I, I mean, had to be, if I, I'm, I'm allowed to I'm say. I'm a little over a three. I don't think it's quite <laughs> a three five. I, it doesn't have quite the flavor punch. That I'm looking it's delicious, for. guys. Uh, but it, I really struggled. I mean, it was yeah, it was probably to close to a three to five. Yeah. Um, so this one's going to be one that you have to go out and look for. You may find it. You may not. Um, Prices are up there from what we've seen online. So if you yeah. can find one somewhere, I would totally grab it and enjoy it and savor it because it's a good quality dram for what you're going to have. I mean, it, the price is you know, up there, but it's unique. Yeah, I'm curious to call out some of our subscribers that that, that collect. I know there's a couple of you guys out there, Keith, Cato, um, Hoagie, oh, if you yeah. guys have this uh, on your bar. And if you don't, if you're interested in it. Um, you need to find it. I, I think it's interesting, but I, we're not collectors either. I, I'm so. not disappointed with the spring bank or the burgundy casket. Right. You know, I mean, I, I think that they... It, it really goes well. Good. I don't know. Yeah, again, those those master distillers, they yeah. know what they're doing. It's good stuff. So, so what we got, guys? We, we got three, three all the way around. So listen, a solid three. three all the way around. Obviously, go buy if you have it. Subscribe if you can, like it for right now. Every Thursday night, guys. We're live. We're live. Come You're talk live. to us. Become a patron and get a bottle hanger. Link is dummies. below right now. Please yep. support us. You know, your, your, your funding is helping buy more scotch so we continue in gear and everything else. So, love you guys. Appreciate it. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers, guys. This is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.